Rambo 3, in my opinion, takes a lot of back steps compared to the second film. In other words, it's just a mindless action film. And to some people, that's good enough, but to me, it's not. Check this film out if you're really interested, but don't expect much other than just action. When Colonel Trotman finds John Rambo in Thailand, he wants him to accompany him on a train mission to Afghanistan. Initially, Rambo refuses, but when Colonel Trotman is captured, John Rambo changes his mind and he goes to Afghanistan to save his longtime friend. I have to say, this movie right here is just action packed. And there's not much story behind it. It's just like the second film. But unlike the second film, I was willing to give that movie a pass. This one right here doesn't have much story. An action movie is great and all, but without much story to back it up, it comes off as a little boring and bland. I don't know about anybody else, but I prefer story first, then action second. Especially in a 1980s film like this, and I'm not really saying this is a bad film per se, but I was underwhelmed watching this movie. Considering that Sylvester Long could have done a lot better. He's okay in this role here, but what the hell happened to the heart and the charm of the character? Does everybody remember the first Rambo film? That movie there has heart and character here. This one, he just mows down enemies left and right like a damn killing machine and even for a 1980s film a movie like this gotta have more than action if you're really curious check it out but i would definitely say this is maybe the second weakest rambo movie i will say this if you got like action films then you will enjoy this movie because it's very entertaining and it delivers the goods. There are several scenes throughout this movie where Rambo kicks ass. And the action set pieces are nicely done. Plus the visuals are pretty good to look at as well. But other than that, I really can't offer this movie to anybody else that's looking for more than an action-packed film. To me, this movie could have been something more. And a lack of a serious story really hurt it at the end of the day. I don't know, maybe it's just my preference for story first and action later. But at least one thing this movie has going on for a time, it made a whole bunch of money off a $63 million budget, which at the time was the most expensive film that was made back then. I consider that, that was the 1980s. I really don't have a whole lot of negatives to say about this movie here, but it's just lack of story hurts it. On scale one to ten, I'm giving this film a six. Now, the reason I'm giving this movie a score, I already said before, you need more than action film to interest me. An example of this is probably the first Expendables film. Yeah, that's an action movie, but at least the story is engaging. To me, the story here is lacking, it's a little underwhelming, and the bad guy of the movie is nothing but a brute, a physical force, if you will. And he, you don't really know anything about his character, his motivations. I mean, I know what he's looking for in the film, but I don't know his bad story. To me, a movie is just as great as the bad guy, and a lack of a great bad guy hurt this movie as well. I don't really have anything else to say about this film. If you've never seen it, I say check it out because you might enjoy it. But to me, it was lacking in a few areas. And that's my review of Rambo 3. Now, leave your comment section below. Let me know what you think about this film. Do you personally enjoy it as one of your favorite action movies? Or do you think it could have been more to this film? Don't get me wrong. I don't consider this movie a bad film. It's just the lack of a big, impactful story certainly hurts it. But the action is down well good to look at. And definitely is very entertaining. 
In fact, I think this is one of Sylvester Stallone's most action-packed films at the time, back in the 1980s. All right, up next, I'm going to be viewing the fourth Rambo film. And I think that movie there could be the weakest, but I'm not really sure because I haven't seen it in a while, and I have to rewatch it and then get my view, my full review on that. Okay, this is from Guy172 saying, peace out.